you're passionate for what you love and you're serious about it. When you see our cameras at the show, then we want to talk about it. Farewell the fans need not apply, we seek nerds that are true. White Dragon. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to show you the trailer. But before I do, no filming. Do not film this trailer. The White Dragon, also known as Eric Reed has been discovered alive. I believe it is my duty to bring this man to justice for what he's done to our city. I will not rest. This city will not rest until Eric Reed is held accountable. interrupt but I'm kind of getting a weird feedback at where is Eric Reed well let's see what we're working with It's beautiful. I'm, I'm gonna shed a tear. It's gonna be a fake tear, but I'm still gonna shed it. Oh, look at it! Only Jason Font! How are you, my friend? Haven't seen you in a long time. Have a seat. What's up, everybody? Are we working? Can we hear it? Yeah, yeah. you can hear it. Is it on? Let me silence my phone. Here we go. That's rule number one. Yeah, all you guys too. Silence. Oh. Silence your phones. So the man of the hour is going to be here shortly. It's, yep. it's going to be me and you chilling out. Yep. You are no stranger in how we work stuff. We work together. Well, you didn't work with me. But I am Lewis from the Angry Geeks. You guys, most of you should know who I am. Um, what was the time of working on that soon-to-be masterpiece? What was the time? Yeah. Well, how was your time? Oh, how was my... It was great. You know, we... I think being a part of this amazing Power Rangers franchise, there's always been this attempt to grow with our fan base, right? Everybody that we, we grew up with is now older, and so we wanted to create an older, darker, more mature version of, of a whole new universe. Not Power Rangers, but a whole new universe. So Jason partnered with Bat in the Sun, who, of course, Bat in the Sun has millions of followers. Have you, has everyone seen Bat in the Sun stuff? Yeah. Yes, okay, very big fans. So, um, he partnered with them after he did the, uh, the Green Ranger uh, Power Beat Town and said, hey, look, we want to we wanna create something for the fans, by the fans. And uh, we went out and we, we, we got it done. We got it done. So an amazing time. Uh, very excited. The special effect look, looks amazing. And uh, COVID slowed us down a lot, especially out in California. We, uh, you know, a lot of filming took a lot longer to do. You can't have as many people there, so that's why it took a little bit longer. But we're told uh, come March, everything should be ready to go, and we are very excited to go on this new journey with you guys. How many days of a shoot was it? I think it was around 35 days. 35. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a healthy feature film shoot. And, uh, yeah, so a little over a month. Wow. 
Well, how, what's the difference of the costume that you wore this opposed to the Power Rangers costume? This one was a little bit more claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> so anytime they got to strap you in and you can't get out of it, you know, for me, that's just always like, okay. It's kind of weird to like be locked in something like that. But um, this stuff is a lot, you know, the, the Power Ranger stuff has the bright, vibrant colors. It's kind of iconic. This stuff here is a lot, you know, like I said, it's got that, that darker feel. So uh, these are really, really well done. All right. um, yep, very cool. Uh, David Ramsey from Arrow. Okay. What was it like working with him? You know, I actually was not on set that day. Really? Yeah. So he was uh, a different scene. So, you know, the way that they got to film it, they break it up. Um, you know, Michael Madsen, I've worked with Michael before. Yeah. It was really cool to have him there. David Ramsey, I was not there. Jail. Jay was there that day with that. Um, but, uh, you know, everybody had a great time. We were all kind of there to accomplish the same goal. And uh, I think Bat and the Sun really shared their, ver their vision of, you know, some of those guys like Michael or David that, that aren't a part of the Power Rangers franchise, like, look, this is what we're doing. We're, there's this goal to, to, you know, grow with our, new, with our fans. And uh, they all got it and bought in, and, and uh, it's going to be really special. All right. We're at a comic book convention, so I got to ask this. Is there going to be a toy line? Yes, there is. Ooh. <laughs> yes, there is. Right. They already released some at Morphicon. Has anyone seen them? That's out. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I didn't know if Jay was going to have some with him, but they, they had a, a release that they brought to Morphicon out in Pasadena, California, and I know they swept through pretty quick. So there will be, I'm sure, and you'll have to ask Jay when he gets here, a, uh, a new release of, uh, of more of those. Absolutely. All right. Last we talk, you have, uh, I think, 8 by 10s in your car if you get pulled over. <laughs> he told me that. Well, actually, you told my co-host that. Do you have action figures of yourself? It, do I have my yeah. own? Yeah. Oh. I know you have action figures of yourself. I'm saying in your possession, oh. you have action figures of yourself. Yes, absolutely I do. Um, you know, the action figure thing is the coolest thing. I, I think that could possibly happen as an actor. I mean, you, you go to a store and you see your face up there. And as a young man, I, I, I collected Star Wars and He-Man and G.I. Joe and... You know, so it's like when you grow up, you know, collecting those things and then eventually you see yourself up there, it's just a really cool moment uh, as a young man who, who, who did that, collected as a kid. So it's cool. And yeah, I do have in my office a bunch of Power Ranger stuff, of Resident Evil stuff that I've got, and uh, I definitely keep my own collection. All right. I, d I just don't want to talk about too much more about the movie without uh, Jason You're going to wait until Jay gets here. here, right? Yeah, I don't want to. He's like, oh, you have, uh, th hey, thanks for coming. We talked way too much about the movie. So what else, besides the movie, what else are you working on? Well, we, um, you know, we just uh, have an animation cartoon that I'm creating right now. Okay, cool. What yeah, so that's called Brush Brigade. Uh, it's going to be about the Tooth Fairy's daughter. So if you've seen Monsters, Inc. or the B movie, it's kind of a little blend of that. But it's about the Tooth Fairy's daughter who's supposed to take over the reign and doesn't want to. Uh, so we're in production for that right now. I wanted to do something animated, something different. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, uh, that's what I'm working on right now. Cool. Yep, yep. Who here was a part of, I see some t-shirts here, so who was a part of the Kickstarter, Legend White Dragon? Okay, we got my guy wow. there, I remember you, one, okay. two, three, four, thank you guys so much. And you know, what, what's cool about this and, and the, the whole goal of this when we first started was, again, to make a, a project for the fans, by the fans, right? It was, it was fun by you guys, and as a result of that, nobody can tell us what to do, which is pretty cool. And a lot of times in Hollywood, you create films and they want to add the bad guy or they want to, they want to start checking boxes of things we have to do because they think this works. We know the pulse of what the Power Ranger fans like. Mm. We know what they like. We know what they want. And so we wanted to just create this new universe. Uh, but as a result of it, you know, create, create our own thing. But it, it's controlled by, by them, so it's in a great position to, to bring to you guys for sure. Uh, we're really big on Kickstarters. How many days was it before you guys were completely funded? How many hours, let's say? You know, I, I, we, we attempted at the beginning. I, I think it went, we had a stretch goal that we went through. And I think the, our goal, we, 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 we went, we blazed way through it. And I want to think it was about a 30 day, if I, if I remember correctly. Um, but it just kept going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kept going. And we went from wanting to make a web series and then we're like, well, if we hit this stretch goal, we're going to make a film. And then some private independent producers who were fans of Power Rangers, uh, once we started to hit this goal, they, they came in and, and wanted to take it to the next level. And, 
and they did. So we were able to get some great names in there and add a lot more production value to it. And uh, it's, it's going to be really cool. You'll cool. be shocked that, you know, what we're able to do for the amount of money that we were able to raise. All right. Now, Legend is going to be, I'm going to bring it back because I think I see somebody moving around back there. Oh, uh, yeah. Theatrical yeah. release? Well, um, from what I understand, and this would be a Jay question, um, you know, once the movie's done, whether it's a streaming, whether it's theatrical, how they want to handle it, I don't know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let him handle that one. But what I do know is that it's almost done and everyone's going to be able to see it. And, uh, you know, once it's done, you, you know, take it all the platforms and, and, and see where it lands. Okay. Uh, big question. I see a couple out here. What's it like for you coming to a convention and seeing a cosplayer dressed in the Power Ranger uh, armor or even in wearing your armor? How do you feel about that? Well, it, it's, it's an amazing feeling. And the reason is because, you know, when I first started this in 2001... You know, you do the show, and then you're off the show, and um, it was funny. The first, I'll tell you guys a story till Jay gets here, but the first Comic-Con I did was in 2011, 10 years after I left the show. So they go, hey, we, we, wanna, we want you to come back to this, this Power Ranger convention, and uh, I said, well, why would they want to meet me? I mean, they, there's been like six or seven Red Rangers since, and they said, uh, has everyone seen Time Force? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Okay. And they said, well, Time Force has become something very, very special. And I said, well, if I show up to this thing, I don't want to be the guy in college coming back to the high school prom, right? I, I didn't want to be that guy. So they said, trust me, Time Force is, is this, this legacy here with, with, the, with the season and the stories. And I came back and the fanfare was just incredible. I was shocked. And then I realized, okay, you know, this is something special. So as long as the fans are here to see me, I will always be here to see you guys. I, I am so honored to be in this position. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to, uh, I mean, travel the world, you know, close to 20 countries in the last seven years, right. uh, everywhere. So you guys, uh, and these, these events are so amazing. You know, everybody is here like-minded and it's, it's a lot of fun for us as well. So it's amazing to see people dress as me. And, uh, and I'm always tickled to see that. All right. Now, there are probably people out there wondering about the 8 by 10 thing and the police. Do you, wanna, do you remember the story you told Jamie or no? You know, I think that might have been Blake. Really? Because I don't keep 8 by 10s in my car. All right. Somebody it said, sounds like something Blake I, I, might do. Maybe. All right. I, I, I was trying to remember. <laughs> I was not on stage with him. Yeah. I was my co-host. And you were on stage with a few other rangers. And it was like, if I get pulled over, I always have 8 by 10s <laughs> in the car. And I hand them out to the officer. And that's, I thought it was you. No, no. I, I've definitely never done that. But it, it, what's, what's crazy is that what I've realized is that wherever you go, when people realize that you are part of the Power Ranger franchise, everybody has a story with it. Everybody has an experience watching it. I mean, everybody. So it's pretty cool that when it does come up or people ask what you do and you mention it, um, it's always fun to be able to tell these stories. And I just couldn't imagine that I would be, be t discussing and, and sharing these things so many years later. But, you know, it's, it's a dream come true, and, and I love doing it. All right. Does anyone have a question for Jason before? Uh... Yeah, go stand up. Stand up to the mic. Go. Oh, yeah, there's a mic there. Cool. What's your name? Uh, Jerry, first, uh, first off, uh... I know we haven't met, really met, really met, but I, I, I did pass by you a couple, couple times. Uh -huh. So, so this, uh, this is a Power Ranger really question. So, I can relate to the West character. The West character. I, I mean, you know, in the beginning, you know, he, he, you know, I think people kind of saw him as since where, he, where he was from. Like he was like a, you know, he was in a rich, a rich, a rich family. But you know, you, you know, as time went, you know, as time went. Went on, went on. You know, he he didn't want to. Be, you know, he, his character was kind of saying, you know, he, he didn't want to be that. Like he want he wanted to, uh, earn, you know, earn everything. Cause uh, you know, like I kind of saw the relationship between him and uh, and and Eric. Cause Eric kind of was was kind of kind of felt like he was just like you know that Wes was getting handed every everything to him, which was not true. Which was not true. Yeah. Not true. So you know. I kind of want your... Hey, the man of the hour is here. 
Do I have to introduce him or not? Three first names. <laughs> Jason David Frank. We used to make fun of that. And three first names there. And then it was JF, JF. And he would get my stuff and I would get his stuff. His stuff was always better than mine. So, uh, But anyway, guys, thanks. I know I uh, took care of a few people in line and all that stuff. And But uh, thanks. It's good to be here. I know you saw the trailer, right? We have a new trailer coming out. Uh, Man, the, the trailer at Power Morphicon, the 15-minute trailer, was so good. Aaron loves action, which I know you do. Me and Jay loves acting and action. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I told Aaron put a little bit more acting in it, but uh, it's going to be a good movie, so it's good, and it's good to have him. We've been working together for a long time, and this is the only movie it, Forever Red we met, and um, I, that was a stressful episode because I had to lead all the leaders, and he and Jason never had an ego, and not a lot of them, a lot. But uh, it was very stressful to come in and lead leaders. So that was a, a forever, forever red. That's how we cl clicked and got along, and did the Black Unicorn that never came out, the Taz Caden in 2015, and uh, it was almost the same thing. When I watched the trailer. So, uh, he was in charge of, of the superhero powers and all that stuff. So it was almost the same concept. And then finally got together and we did it. And, you know, the whole film, and we're very excited about it. Uh, the film is being worked on. I, I do have clips uh, <laughs> and stuff like that. So it is being worked on very hard. The CGI looks beautiful. And I think uh, that's the biggest thing in a movie. You know, like CGI on Power Rangers, first season was beautiful. Do you want that to was run? a joke. Was that not a joke? <laughs> Do you want okay. to run the trailer again? Oh, you're here. Yeah, I, I don't know. They saw it already, but okay. I mean, but uh, we, you know, we made things spark in '93. That was a joke too. What's wrong? What's wrong with you guys? You know what? I see a lot of comedians come up. And they say they just go with the flow, and then they're, you know, if you you like it, you do. You don't, you don't. So they just know when to move on. I moved on to the next one. Make my monster grow. <laughs> all right, I got don't that. All right, I don't want to get weird on you. I'll make you laugh because I do got some weird ones. But uh, I mean, blowing the flute is is absolutely nuts. <laughs> How's the con been for, for you Well, guys? this crowd sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is not, I'm not a comedian guy, all right? No. The con is great. I haven't been here. So remind me. I haven't been here. And I don't, I don't know. At least I, five not, years, at least. Yeah, not last year. Yeah. You weren't here last year. It's, it's been a long yeah. time. Power Rangers wow. has been around for 30 years. And I just got to tell you, you guys are old. Oh, the <laughs> I flipped it on him. I'm flipping it. People come up like, I don't mean to make you feel old. I'm like, no, I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm, I got hair. I'm, I'm good. You know? No, I mean, I do dye a little of this, but, uh, but I always say, at first I say that and then just get it out of the way. That's it. I'm old. All right, I just asked Jason this question. Mr. Font, I'm gonna, that way I can distinguish the two. two. Yes. Oh, I we just can do asked. Jason. Like, I'm Jason, Jason's, Jason, J how about Jay? Uh, Jayden. And then Jay in? Jay's okay. Just do, okay, do, do the great. font. <laughs> I, I just asked him this. Frankenfont. Frankenfont Frank. hot dogs. No lie. If we had this at a show, Frankenfont <laughs> hot dogs, it would be here all night. Tip your <laughs> it would be. But anyway. What's ahead. it like for you to see uh, someone build their own uh, armor, Power Rangers armor, and come up to you and say, you were an inspiration. I built this, you know, and... By watching you, Got a lot better than we did back then, <laughs> because uh, you know what what we did back then. We had the floppy shield, right? We didn't have the Japanese shield, and they're like, they're never gonna see it. They're never gonna see it. And I'm like, 25 years. You ask why the shield doesn't match? <laughs> yes, it's Japanese footage, but I tell you what, and there's no lie. Who changed the game for the Green Ranger? And it was a little. I was a little worried about it. Was Aaron? He changed the helmet, he changed the suit with the superpower beat down. He changed everything, and I was really worried about it, but people really right. accepted that. <laughs> and even in the video game, they have it. Even in the comic books, they have it, and replaced me as that character, from my understanding. So Aaron changed the game on the Green Ranger. And it, yeah, he did. He changed the whole suit. And in the video game, Legacy, you got the Green Ranger. So I was very proud of him. And then, it, you know, it, it worked. If not, he would have got attacked by lots of little kids. Well, not little kids, but, um, <laughs> yeah, lot, yeah, grown-ups. He would have got beat up. All right. You want to feel some questions? Because that young man had a question yes. we never finished. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is for the font or the Frank? 
Uh, well, uh, okay, so I, yeah, I just got done the uh, question with with, with font, font already. So this is for the Frank. Yeah. Yes. All right, Font. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, first off, uh, I'm gonna wish you a happy late 50th birthday. 49, bro. Why you rush it? But I will tell you this. <laughs> I will tell you this. No lie. Chuck Norris, honest said that his career didn't start until he was 50 and I remember sitting in that room and he said you're going to be the next me and I was like no there's no way because you can't initial his name you cannot initial Chuck Norris's name CN that's Cartoon Network so when Chuck <laughs> Norris sat there and said you're going to be the next me I said no and he, and he said his career didn't start until he was 50 I'm 49 I can't wait to be 50 so thank you I will take that but let's clear it up on the internet I'm 49 uh, yeah. let the record reflect <laughs> Yo, I remember reading an article that it was in TV Guide that you said you wanted to be the next Bruce Lee. Yeah. Then he died. Then Chuck Norris. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm trying to lighten everything up, guys. That is no. Okay. Yes. No. I, you know what? You're right. You did. You long time ago. Long time, yeah. I wanted to be the next Bruce Lee. You're right. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to be a superhero, legit, like a legit superhero that we are now because it's matured. And I did say that. You did. And it was in uh, TV Guide. Of course I did. Darn, I hope Chuck never read that. It was in TV Guide. Um, it was. I said that. Right before Don't you tell Chuck. No, no I, I won't. All right. Um, I'll... Is that before or after People Magazine's 50 Most Beautiful People in the World oh. that I always like to talk to him about? He loves my... <laughs> so uh, that's the one thing I get jealous of. People Magazine, that's so amazing. That was about the same year. Yeah, they did this 50 Most Beautiful thing. and They do it every I, year. I had like a two-page spread and... My mom was so proud because she loves People Magazine. I had like two pages. Brad Pitt had one, but it was just all politics. I, I don't talk about it. But Foss like, man, if I had that, bro, I'd be like, well, I'd be the 50th most oldest now. But yeah, that, that, that was hidden. That was like, I'd be like, shh. I, I, I think that, I'm proud of it. That's good. That, that article was when you first put on the white ranger suit. Yep. And that article came out, and you were quoted, yeah. yeah. And they, the producers, have said, "Oh, you just keep throwing those kicks, and you'll be okay." Yep. All right, your question. Uh, uh, all right, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. So, uh, I did some di digging on your weekly, weekly Wikipedia. Oh. So, so that hurts. After, after that the, you know, the Green Ranger, you know, Green Rangers thing, and and I already, I already seen the original se uh, Sentai. So, or, you know, or, you know, originally after that was done, you know, you weren't, you know, you weren't. You weren't supposed to come. You weren't supposed I to. I died come. in the come. original series. Let's just be honest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. In the Japanese footage, I died. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, like, yeah. So you know, originally, you know, you weren't gonna come back. You know, you were gonna, you were gonna do, v, uh, Viat Troopers, and not uh, then, uh, then you know, they announced a White Range, Ranger was, uh, uh, coming. Uh, I was just wondering, you know, like, how were you were uh, did, did you know you were either you were coming back or how did they uh, approach it? Approach you about coming back? No, I. You know, guys, look. I, I was hired for 15 episodes. I was very happy. I lived every day like it was my last. I wanted to know. On set, I was the first one there. I took everyone's fight scenes. I was the last one to leave. I learned about lighting. I learned cameras. I tried to learn as much as I could for in 15 uh, episodes. And uh, the show was already canceled when it was aired. You, know, you have to watch Heim Saban's thing on that. And then they sold Cybertron, which based off me, which was uh, VR Troopers. And then, um, then they said, it wasn't, I, I used to feel flattered. Like everyone called in, there was this big petition. Kids weren't eating and, you know, and they weren't going to school. So I felt flattered. But now as I got older, I realized that it was a legality thing. They didn't want to get sued. So they brought me back as the White Ranger. Mm -hmm. And... And the only thing that was missing was, guess who's back? Back again. Tommy's back. <laughs> Tell a friend. And meanwhile, but that's but it was an honor to come back. And then Kimberly fainted, and I just let her faint and fall. I believe. Okay. I believe you have to look at that episode. What's your name? Frank or Font or Font and Frank. Hot dogs. Uh, this is for both of you. Jason, Jason. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi. Jason. <laughs> Jason and Jason. Jason. Attorneys of law. So, uh, so Jason will go first. Then. From J question, Jason. This Jason. is kind of for both of y'all. I just wanted to say that I, I've been watching Power Rangers since I was a wee lad, so like, I really love the memories I got from Power Rangers, and uh, really glad to see you guys. Um, my question is, which sword do you think will win a fight, the Q Rex or the Dragon Zord? Get a Zord. A Zord, yeah. How powerful was your Zord? Was, the Q Rex was uh, Quantum Ranger. That's true, did. I did pilot it once. So what kind of powers did your uh, Zord have? 
What kind of armor? I can't remember exactly, but I know the uh, the dragon sword was pretty powerful. I'm going to go with. Uh... Well, the the dragon sword was the first, right? And uh, it was powerful. It lived in water. It's, it's it's somewhere down there. It doesn't doesn't rust. And he's just being respectful, man. Like <laughs> you know, if there's a fight between Bruce Lee and Chuck, and then Bruce would win. Uh, but Rock, paper, gone. scissor it. Go uh, ahead. Just yeah, get it over. I guess Dragon Sword. <laughs> Dra I mean, yeah, Dragon Sword, sure. Because he doesn't know much powers, and I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> and they weren't exactly. very big. They were, were just like the, the, you know. What do you guys think? Who would win? Yeah. Really? Yeah. really? Okay, raise your hand if Jason's Zord will win. Oh. Raise your Zord. hand if the Dragon Zord. Because okay, we Dragon scarred Zord. the heart of many children around the world. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's your name? But he had better acting on his series. <laughs> oh, Hi, God. my name's Greg. I'm from Massachusetts, so I'm going to be brief as possible. I've been a huge fan from the very beginning. Uh, I said, my name's Greg. I'm from Massachusetts, and uh, I've been a huge fan from the very beginning. Been beginning. My favorite part of the show were the, the Zords slash Megazords. It's been a great show, meets great toys, and I love robot toys and I'm, I'm really glad that Hasbro now owns the franchise and that they started this lightning collection with the Zords and I'm really looking forward to the uh, Zords that will be, be coming out in the future yeah. yep okay and now for uh, a, a question uh, I'm not happy Hasbro owns it they need to do content but we got it okay go ahead continue yeah. Okay. I mean, it has been Hasbro. <laughs> I'm trying to make you laugh. Uh, remember, remember your an, your an anniversary episode, Forever Red. Yeah, I remember that well, one. Yes. Oh, yeah, and, and also a, a, a Jason Font, a, your a, your team up episode with the Lightspeed Rangers. That only lasted for one one episode. That was real real bummer. I mean, you yeah, should, it should have been two parts, just like the other team up episodes. Okay, but and also Forever Red was just one. It That's at least the been, way they should do more. That's why we did too. Legend of the White Dragon. I know. Okay, Guys, okay, I'm doing okay. one other this thing for I our kids. Thing, anyway, okay, one ahead. last thing I want to say that, that I wish it could have been different. And the way you defeated Serpentera, I, all the Red Rangers who had battle armor should have summoned their armor, and, and, and all the ones that didn't, they could just use a blast and shoot and destroy Serpentera. Okay, Very I'm true. Done. Thank you. Sorry, we didn't wake up, man. You're sleeping. They, they, I saw they, you slipping. Hey, they I guess. asked earlier about <laughs> Legend of White Dragon toys. What, but what's your name? Legend of White Dragon toys. Peter, we got a whole Peter. bunch of stuff coming out. Let them know because they were asking the, me about guys, that. Guys, I'm, I'm about we're the toys, doing the merchandising, okay? We've we've come up. We've got toys out there already ordered. Um, you know, the Kickstarter toys that's going out there. Everything, I ask fans what they like from, you know, little things from pop socks to tumblers to blankets to, to underwear. We don't have underwear. But uh, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff. And this was just something that we were very passionate about. And then uh, we're going to release uh, like exclusive Ashagore stuff as well. Uh, so yeah, this is a lot of stuff going on. So I, I like to do things I would buy and half the stuff out there I wouldn't buy. So I did the other half that I would buy. Makes yeah. sense. Perfect yeah. marketing. I mean, like Hasbro's coming out with everything. I'm like, Tommy's here, and I'm a turtle, and I'm this, and I'm that. <laughs> but they need content. But anyway. All right. Speaking of turtles, hey, Raphael. It's good to see you both. Uh, thank you both for coming. Absolutely. I wanted to know uh, what was the, like, uh, the experience of making the film. And um, I donated to your campaign, of course. And J.D., if I know, if it, I follow you here and there on Cameo and stuff. And it's good to see you again. Good to see you again, too. Thank you. Thank you, man. It was, uh, we originally did a first Kickstarter, so it doesn't count, right? Because people we were like, waiting forever. It's like that first Kickstarter doesn't count. It was too similar to Hasbro. We were trying to do something, fan film, too many Rangers, this and that. So what we decided to do is what we did in 2015, create our own IP so, you know, we can be free. And it was, it's refreshing to you guys. We brought some bigger actors in. Mark Dacascos always wanted to work with. Michael Madsen, King Badge, David Ramsey. I mean, we, we got a stack, and the story is great. So it, it, was, it was very difficult because we got stuff stick up our nose like so many times. Thanks for coming, guys. Sorry I'm so bored. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know you got a photo op with the, the Steve Cardenas or whatever. I'm kidding. That's a joke. Oh, I, that was a joke. I'm trying to make y'all laugh. I'm like, I, I told Steve to join us. No lie. I did. I told him to join us. Anyway, um, it was great. COVID made it very difficult. And if we had COVID, the whole movie would be broke. No, I just didn't tell anyone. I didn't want to mention that during, during it. We prepaid for everything. And if we had COVID, we'd be shut down for two weeks and we, the movie would be done. So I just didn't jinx it. 
I just didn't tell anyone. Now we're done. This is Ben. No, it's not. That's a good thing. What are you talking about? No, th that is Ben, and Ben has a question. Oh, Ben, I, we, dude, I've known you for how long have we known each other? Since 2008 at yeah. AFO. Right. Yeah. We've known each other for oh, a long so you time. Know ben too. Everybody yeah, I know knows Ben. ben. He's, yeah. a, he's a good dude. He's yeah. always been a, a supportive fan, and uh, yeah, you know. So what's up, bud? What would you've done if Hasbro was willing to work with your wants and not the whole dispute thing with your content, the Legend of the White Dragon, the Lord Dragon line that didn't follow through? Well, well, on, a well, fair, on fair terms. Well, we created, you know, the Lord Dragon. That was just like a fan film that was under my control that I still own the digital rights to. Hasbro's not happy. I've tried so hard to tell people and Hasbro's just reached out lately and was like, we love you. It's like the third, been around 30 years, you know what I mean? But uh, it, Haim Saban is a very smart businessman. Follow him. He sold to Disney. He bought it back for a fraction of the price. He launched it. He did that movie and went to Hasbro. Never bet on the horse, always bet on the jockey. Just like in Starbucks CEO. CEO started dropping and the jockey came back. So the point is buy jockey strap. <laughs> that was a joke. Uh, if, if they wanted to do something, it's too similar to their product that they have. So we have to think about it. it would, they would have to, it's, I don't want a corporation. I want people that know what we're doing. I'm in the front lines. We're in the front lines. Corps are all about numbers. How much money can you bring me? What's your number? What's your number? I, I'm, I'm so sick of the number thing. So when we launch, we'll see what happens. And then it'll be like, then it'll be a number thing. <laughs> it's like, it's a look at the project. Yeah. Huh? Speaking, you the said. With the, when the finished project. Oh, it, uh, come out in March. And, uh, you know, I, I would like to do selective theaters with the fans to mm -hmm. watch. And I'm, I'm okay with theaters, but I, I, I like the home thing now. That's okay. what I was going to ask. I like the home thing. And we've, we already had someone that wanted to buy the film way back then. I probably didn't tell you. And I told Aaron, relax. Just get it done. Just get it done. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm lazy now. You can stream. You know, watch everything on the phone. You know, these little kids don't know what it used to be like. <laughs> <laughs> the cameras, right? Hi, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Thank that you, was... Ben. I appreciate you. It's good to see you again, too. Always a pleasure. All right, buddy. That, that was my question. Is it going to be theatrical? You're going to stream? Well, we were something? supposed to be a theatrical release. We got uh, Scott Kennedy. That's good. But, you know, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. I mean, it's just for me, I, I live day by day, and I don't want to say this is what's going to happen, but I will, we will take it to theaters and hit cities and watch it with them. That's just my dream. Mm -hmm. If it goes to theaters against big movies, I really, it's all about numbers. Yeah. I want to do what Murr did with his film. Mm -hmm. Bruce Campbell did. Yeah. Did a small thing, and he went everywhere to watch it with everybody, and then, the, then it started getting picked up. By studios, we already have AMC's. Trust me, we got a lot of people. We'll just get the movie done, make it look good. I hyped it up, you know, and kick me in the face if it's not good. But I'll have plexiglass because it's COVID. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, at least I got one laugh. Okay, go ahead. What's your name? Hello, my name is Christian. Uh, I had a question about. Uh, can you talk about uh, Megaforce and Super Megaforce? How that team up happened? How they did it called you, etc. Some, something like that. Yes. Yeah. The Mega Force and Super Mega Force. Uh, that was kind of a surprise. They had reached out to me. I don't know about Jay. Um, about three, four weeks before, I said, "Hey, do you want to come out to New Zealand and and do this?" So I was honored to be a part of it. I mean, anytime I get a chance to to jump back, this was probably seven years ago now. A long, that was um, a long time ago. But but then yeah, but then Jay and I had already established a very strong friendship. So it's like anytime you get to travel the world with your friends and do stuff and uh, have adventures. It's, it, was, it was more about that experience, to be honest. And then the filming was, was kind of a bonus. So um, it was exciting to be part of it. Uh, they should have done it differently, which is why we're doing Legend of Light Dragon, like to have Just control of this. the helmets. But then, but then Font, when he got the two weeks, then he said, hey, why don't you hit up JDF? And then they're like, it's a good idea. So he got me in. <laughs> and then we had these terrible toilets. But the, the point we did in the, in the port, oh my God. We'll never forget we'll that. We'll never story. forget it. But the helmets, can you just say it's morphing time? Can you let us morph? Can you do whatever we did? That's why Ninja Steel, I had a list of, of demands that you guys would want. Like, nope, got to say morphing time. Nope, it's got to be evil. He's got to be like, <laughs> got to have it all. And they're like, oh, you've turned so pre-Madonna. I'm like, I haven't. I just don't want to do it and let the fans down. Yeah. 
That's it. Because we know what the fans want. We're the ones that are here. So he's just saying, guys, trust me, they're going to want these things. This is how to make them happy. You can't just chuck everybody on with no lines. They want some depth to the characters. And Ninja Steel, it was a totally different episode. In JJ, know? for example, they were like, we're not doing that scene. I said, well, we need to do the scene. He needs to have a kid. No, we're not doing the scene. Oh, we'll do the scene, literally. We'll do the scene to make you happy. We're scheduling this whole day to make JDF happy. Okay, we're, it's never going to be part of the episode. Uh, okay, uh, I'm, okay. It made it. And it's in the books, and they made a whole storyline. But I was just so like that for you guys. But it, but it turned back as an arrogant actor. Well, I'm so arrogant. I'm not asking for money. I'm just telling you what you need to do. If I own Hasbro with the brand, we'd have anime. We'd have everything. I would do something called Angel Grove, where we'll go back as children, like Goth Gotham. Y'all, Hasbro's listening now. Go back as Angel Grove, like Gotham. Learn the characters, where they grew up, where they're from. Tommy's an orphan. I would do everything. It would be so saturated like Wolverine, but it would give content for every age group. And I have a lot of ideas, but, those, but now I'm, those ideas are coming through with The Legend of the White Dragon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we did our helmets like this. Remember, Jay, we just, you cheat the helmets, it's like. <laughs> that, I, I had so much anxiety. I don't know what it was on that one take. Oh, my God. I told you, right? Like, I was in my room, like, because <laughs> I get anxiety sometimes or when people rush me or I don't know what it was. I did this whole great acting movie and then stupid anxiety over that one, th this, and then the camera pushes up and I was like, the camera's there, the camera's there, the camera's going to my crotch. It was terrible. <laughs> oh God. But I got through it. What's your name? My name is Tim. I'm from New Hampshire. Met JDF. Uh, I'm back in Rochester. Just saw him at the table. Uh, really busy. Gonna say, always loved your work. I have a question about Bat and the Sun, or Superpower Beatdowns, of course, you've done several as your Rangers. What would you do if you did a Bat and the Sun beatdown with Lord Draken, or even the White Dragon? Who would you fight? Well, the, the Lord Dragon is kind of on this side, right, with yeah. Hasbro. I put so much time and effort in it, and then they're like, well, maybe we'll just do Lord Draken with a different character. See, I don't think, just in a, in a nutshell, I don't think people understand how Lord Draken happened. I did a trailer. Saban said, these toys are never going to sell. Scott from Power Morphicon wanted to order toys. Saban said, nope. He put his house on the line, like 170 grand to buy these toys. He said, they will sell. That's why I went with Scott with Legend of the White Dragon, because he knows. Just put his house on the line, put everything up, just to believe in that character. I did the trailer, and they sold out. Now nothing but Lord, Lord Draken, right? But it's also the actor who's gonna draw and push towards that. So when it comes to Bat in the Sun, just in general, uh, I, I wouldn't know about that because that's me, yeah. you know? And if, it, if, if, if they did something with it, I had a trailer. That trailer's my trailer I paid for. Yeah. We did the toys, Scott put up his house. What more do you need to show that this can make a Netflix show? What more do you need? What, he could be in it, everyone crosses the line. Oh, I know what it is, you, you lost it. It's, it's called Cobra Kai that we could have done a long time ago. When they're, they had the COVID mask and they're picking their nose with the COVID mask on. That was joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Someone laughed big over there. <laughs> the only thing I laugh about is when I was joking, my, my buck teeth hit the mic. Y'all see that? When I'm like that? <laughs> my teeth still hurt from it. All right, but Superpower Beatdown, uh, that's up to Aaron's. That's his property. Yeah. You know? It's always good that even like just what you've done with Aaron and now with Legend of the White Dragon been following Bat and the Sun since their early days too, so, which is always cool to see. I would fight Wolverine, and it'll be over in five seconds, because I respect him, <laughs> and I, w I do, and I would go up to him, and I'll just be like, hey, I'm a big fan, and let him stick, just whoosh, and let it go through, <laughs> and that's it, and that's it, and then just right towards the end, shoo, and then he'll say, thank you, I'm a, bi I'm a big fan too, done. I would be happy to do that. That'd be su such an honor. We have less than five minutes left, so we're uh, gonna we're I, gonna I, rapid I'll fire. I'll shut up then. Okay. No, you don't have to shut up. We're gonna rapid fire. Go, rapid fire. Right. Uh, Peter B. Parker, Queens, New York. Uh, I just wanted to ask um, if you could do any crossover from the Power Rangers with something else. What would it be? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> David, He's that's David. Rapid. Everybody, say hi to David. Hi, Rita. Davira. <laughs> so why do they um, make Rita's boobs like that? But. <laughs> Why don't you get a, why don't you get a try? Um, so if you, quick, uh, two quick questions. First question, 
if you had to fight one on one for both of you, if one of you fight one on one with another villain not from your series, who would it be? Yeah, what are your villains from your not from your series? Yeah, one, no, I'll series. fight one of your villains, which was that one Rancic, and, and he would do Lord Zed. You, you, you do Lord Zed, and you would do. Ran Rancic. Oh, Rancic. Okay. Yeah. And if you had to lead a team not from your series, who would it be? Me and Font. <laughs> Time Force. Yes, Time Force. Same, and... You would go with Mighty Morphin? Yeah, I yeah. always do just because it's, it's Mighty Morphin's where it all started, right? So that's where I always tip my cap. So any kind of crossover. A rapid Fire. Yeah. We started. He's got good acting in his series. Bam, merge. Mighty right. Morphin, Time Force, merge. Vim Next, merge. quick. <laughs> good question. Quick. He's making me uh, rush. My question was, how is it like filming the original Power Rangers movie compared to Legend of the White Dragon? I know years in between. Way better. Way but better? Next, Our, next well, question. Quick. Way better because I made chairs for the actors. I like made them feel special. Like We had nothing. We sat on the floor and wardrobe gets mad because our pants are dirty. Obviously, White Dragon's going to be Good. darker next. and grittier. No. no. He's talking about the movie, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. But obviously, White Dragon's going to be darker and grittier, but are we going to see any Zords or Megazords in it? Uh, that's that's d down down the line. You're going to see a lot of stuff. We have a whole Bible of this. This is a sliver of it's consistency, no loopholes in the brand, like Power Rangers. Like, how to become a doctor? How'd that even happen? <laughs> I didn't even know I was a doctor of. I would like to know, when you first started and you wore the Green Ranger outfit, how did you feel? When I, you first started, I felt great, and then I took it home and saw my wall. <laughs> and the next meeting, they said, "Who took the Green Ranger suit?" I said, "Are you kidding me? They are you kidding me?" <laughs> he said, "Steve Cardenas." <sighs> yeah, it, it, I have a lot of stuff that I that I thought belonged to me, and but but it doesn't matter because Saban's gone now, so it belongs <sighs> to me. But it did feel good. Spandex don't lie either. <laughs> it was cold. Yes. Everyone, please give these two gentlemen a great big <laughs> round of applause. Go down to their tables, get a picture, get an autograph, and tell them hi. Give them a nice so can see. Everybody Give them a great big round of applause from Rhode Island. Now we're gonna be on the Legend of the White Dragon page. Everybody say, White Dragon. Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three. White Dragon! Yeah. Hey.